Hi, today we are going to be talking about what if scenarios functionality in Big Picture, the feature that allows you to compare different outcomes of your project depending on different variables. So we are going to have a dive into what this feature allows you to do, but also we are going to be talking about what this feature still doesn't have and hopefully it's coming in the future from soft to plan. So stay with us till the end and let's dig right into the tool. So the first thing I want to start with is that the scenarios are actually available in two modules. You can access them here in that Gantt module that we are looking at right now, but they will also be available in the resources module. And that makes total sense because the scenarios, at least in the current version, are all about the time planning, right? So let's have a look at the scenarios that we have over here. If you expand this dropdown, you will see that there is actually just a live scenario, which, mean, which means that we don't have any actual alternative scenario just yet. So we're going to create one. You hit the create new scenario button over here and you're able to provide the name of your scenario. So let's say that our new scenario will be named um, additional space between tasks. And we will make the scenario private or public. Doesn't really matter too much because we are the, the only ones that will be viewing it. And immediately after you create a scenario, it's going to get created over here and it's going to be selected over here, right? So you will see that you have now a live scenario, but also this additional scenario that allows us to play around with our tool a little bit and figure out what could go better in our project plan um, to achieve better results. So, what is actually happening in the background when the alternative scenario is getting created is that your live scenario or your, your scenario that you have been working with previously is not anymore automatically and immediately synced with Jira anymore, right? So if you're working with the alternative scenario, now you are in control when the changes that you're going to make to your project plan are going to be synced to Jira, back to Jira, right? So you can play around with the data as long as you want and until you agree to merge the data to your live scenario it's actually just going to stay there on the side um, and be visible only to you or other people that you're going to share the alternative scenario with so let's see what we can actually do in this scenario the first thing that is definitely worth having a look at is that when you have elements in your project plan, you can now, of course, move those elements on the timeline. So I will move one of those elements and I'm looking for a good candidate over here. I think I will try to move this one. So I'm going to move this element a couple of days forward, right? And as you can see, it immediately um, started a consecutive action that also moved this element forward because it's a follower of the element that I've touched. And it also moved the parent of both elements because of the mode that we are currently using, the automatic mode, right? So by doing one change, we actually did three at the same time. And now we can see that number one appears over here, which is an indicator that there, hasn't be, there has been a change made to our project. And now we can review that change and see what has actually happened. So there is our change. We can expand this change and we can see that in our, in our change, there are four entries that have been modified, right? And we can immediate, immediately see which tickets have been modified, what the modification was. So basically which dates changed into which dates. And now thanks to this, we can understand exactly what has happened. If we would uh, be making more changes, so for example, I would move this element a little bit forward, which would again push several other elements as well. What if I would move this one forward? Okay, another change happening. And, we, and you can see that this number over here is growing. It's not showing one anymore. It's showing two or now three, right? And of course, if I again click over here, I will be able to see the results of other changes that have been applied. So basically, anytime you move an element on the timeline, there is a change being recorded over here for you to review later on. Normally, in the live scenarios, you don't have the undo button, but here you do. And here you can click this button to undo the previous change. And you can see that the elements that I've moved last 
are going back to their original place and this number is dropping back to two from three, right? So you can see that it is definitely working. Why is it available over here and not available in the live scenarios? Well, that's a different story, but for those of you that understand Jira and how it works, you can probably figure it out. So we saw our project plan items being moved on the timeline. What about making them longer or shorter? Is that possible as well? Of course it is, right? To extend the task, just grab the end of the or the beginning of the task and move it to that desired spot. And of course, I could also make the task way shorter than it should be. So that will also work for me. So as you can see, replanning your project element items is really easy and absolutely doable with what if scenarios. But what happens if you want to do a little bit more? So what, for example, would happen if you would like to create a new dependency between your tasks? Is that possible? Unfortunately, not really. So you can hover your mouse over here and you don't see this pointy element or this bulb appear over here, allowing me to grab the task and create a dependency connection. So that's one thing that is definitely missing still from the what if scenarios. Another thing that I would love to see here, but it's still not there yet, is the ability to actually play around with resources. So you can see that some of my tasks have people assigned to them. And I could, for example, enable the resources snippet over here and see how I'm doing in terms of my um, people planning. But this is synced with the live scenario. So I'm, I'm, I, I can see it as it is defined over there. And I can't really make any changes over here, right? So you can see that I cannot edit the task in this mode. Therefore, I cannot change the assignee of this, of this task. Um, another thing that is also missing in the, in the what if scenarios is the ability to populate my scenario with additional elements, right? So you can see that the plus button over here allowing me to add new items to my project plan is not there yet, right? It's, it's disabled. So if you're happy after a while with all the changes that have been done, you can actually click here or here to merge the changes to the live scenario. So if I do this, it will ask me for the final confirmation. And then if I click merge, that all the information is going to be synced with my live scenario. And now I'm getting switched back to my live scenario and it should look exactly like the alternative scenario that I have been playing with. So essentially, the what if scenarios allow you to play around in terms of start and end dates with your project plan. So you can shuffle things around, you can change their placement in time, you can change the duration, but you cannot change the number of elements you have in your plan, you cannot change the assignees, and you cannot change the dependencies that are connecting those tasks. So that's a little bit of a drawback for what if scenarios, but it doesn't mean that they are not useful. I'm working with companies um, from all around the world and many of them are actually finding the what if scenarios, even in the current state, which I'm sure is going to be expanded in the near future by software plant, quite useful already. So if you will have any kind of doubt uh, whether this tool is good for you or not, remember that you can always reach out to us, schedule a free session during which we will have a look at what you're looking for, what are your expect expectations and requirements in terms of your project management tool. And we will tell you whether, and actually also show you whether Big Picture is a right fit for you or not. We are experts in implementing Big Picture or any other PMO solutions in the Atlassian environment. So if you feel that we can help you in any kind of a way, definitely reach out to us. You will find all the necessary details allowing you to contact us in the description of this video. And hopefully you've had a blast watching this one. See you in the next one.